Ivron, I am Jason Christopher, and today, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-gain ng around 400% using a custom moving average crossover system. So, papakita ko sa inyo right now kung ano yung itsura niyan, ang statistics niya. So, beginning equity natin, 5 million. And tignan nyo naman yung ending equity, it's 24.9 million. So, around 400% or 398.60%. So, napakalaki nitong profit na to, no? So, for a total of 15 26 trades or 1,526 trades, 399 lang. Ito yung panalo natin versus 1127 or 1,127 of losses. But take note, no? Even though we only have ito, makakita nyo dyan, yung hit rate natin is around 26.15%. Bumabawi tayo sa edge ratio with 2.86, no? So as you can see, even though we have a lower hit rate, binabawi natin sa edge ratio. That's why we got 398.60%. So average holding period natin dito, 28 days for both na winning and losing. And sa winners naman natin, 63 days average holding period and for losers 11 days lang so around 5 to 6 times no yung winners natin yung average holding period natin for winners versus our losers and average win of 4 million here and average loss is minus 1.5m no with average win percentage around 14% only pero average loss natin kitang kita nyo naman no just around 4% so ayun, um, tignan natin, no? Ito yung journal niyan. As you can see dito, no? Going back here sa pinaka-front, no? We have your PCOR there at the start. Ayan, kita nyo naman dito sa taas, no? 5 million ending equity, uh, uh, beginning equity, and then ending equity natin, 24 million. So at it's around 398%. So spanning from 1995, no? pinak natin up until this one. February 23, ako na bahal as a backtest. No? Papakita ko na lang yung strategy sa inyo. So going into the rules, we have your assumptions muna. The transaction fees should be at 1.19%. And number two, walang fundamental. So all technical execution lang dito muna sa ating pinapakita. Ano? With 100% perfect execution. Bakit 100% perfect execution? Kasi backtest ito. So eto na yung mga rules. Rule number one, it is traded only in the PSE. Walang gagamit nito sa ibang markets. Ha? So let's say sa crypto, bawal to. Sa US market, also bawal to. Okay? Dapat sa PSE lang tayo. Next, PSEI must be greater than SMA200. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Yung closing price natin PSEI, dapat above siya ng simple moving average 200. Later on, papakita ko sa chart kung ano yung itsura niyan. Rule number three, average 20-day value traded must be greater than 20 million. Dapat more than 20 million yung average 20-day value traded niya. Rule number four, SMA 15 crosses over SMA 30. So nakakita nyo, no? Ito yung customized natin na simple moving average. Yung sa iba, SMA 50, SMA 200, pero ito yung crossover natin. Rule number five, cut loss natin should be no more than 5% from our buying price, including na yung transaction fees, no? So we'll have our cut loss roughly around 3.8%, no? And then rule number six, yung TP natin, no? No other sell on rallies whatsoever. Sell on weakness tayo. Sell if SMA crosses under, eto, SMA 30. That's our rule number six. So rule 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Tara, tignan natin ito sa chart. So going into the chart, Eto makakita nyo at first no is our PSEI. So eto, this one, this orange line, no, nakikita nyo to. This one is your SMA 200, simple moving average 200. So it takes the past 200 days and then in average nya, and then moving siya all throughout the chart. So if hindi nyo pa alam kung ano niyan, kung ano yan, uh, tingnan nyo yung previous video natin dito, no. So eto nilagyan ko din, no, ng indicator if no above yung price sa SMA 200 lumalabas itong mga blue circles no it will come in handy later on pag ibang charts yung tinitingnan natin so eto it's blue if 
the closing price is above SMA 200, no? So tignan natin, no, yung ibang uh, charts. So sec B muna tayo. Ito kung nakikita nyo, meron ng buy and sell etc diyan, no? Um ito, the V here. Tignan natin muna si rule number 3. Ito, oh, highlightin ko, ah, highlightan ko. Yellow. Okay? So Rule number three, average 20-day value traded should be greater than 20 million. So, dapat yung average no value traded should be greater than 20 M indicated by this V no, na nandito. So, nilagyan ko na no, um, ng indicator para makita kung ano yung V na yan or yung value traded na sa-satisfy ba niya. So, here, lahat no, ng candles na nakasatisfy sa value traded, nag-letter V dyan. Next, again, ayun nga, rule number two, above dapat SMA 200 si PSEI. Now, I also did that here. As you can see, merong blue dots dyan, similar to sa PSEI. But, take into account nito yung closing prices ni PSEI, no? So, hindi to relative sa current na security, no? Or current na asset relative to sa PSEI. Basically, kinukuha lang talaga, no? If above PSEI or if above SMA 200 si PSEI, lumalabas to dito. Regardless of which stock you choose, no? So, ayan. Satisfied na din. Ito si rule number 2. Kailangan masatisfy yan. Of course, trade in na PS PSE automatically satisfied yan. Rule number 4. SMA 15 crosses over SMA 30. So, ito, the yellow line here is your SMA 15. Ayan, nakikita nyo. MA crossover strategy 15. And then this blue line is your SMA 30. Okay? So, if nag-cross over sila, kailangan munang masatisfy both na above 200 CPSEI and also yung value traded kailangan masatisfy. Okay? So, kailangan to masatisfy and then we will set our cut loss and then take profit natin no so as you can see here tingnan muna natin no nilagyan ko din ng green background if meron tayong trade so first eto tignan natin no so this candle eto no kita nyo yan yung may orange meron buy sec b okay so we bought sec b here because no nag cross over etong sma15 over 30 and then also satisf satisfied both yung value traded and also CPSEI above SMA 200. So we bought here and then nag-sell tayo dito. Bakit? Kasi cut loss na natin. Again, including the commission fees here, the cut loss should be no more than 5%. Okay? So pag-highlight pag natin ito, so rule number 5, cut loss no more than 5% including the transaction fees. So that's roughly 3.8%, no? So from that point, this one from closing price and then up until here, no? So nag-set na tayo ng 3.8% dyan. So ayan, nagbenta tayo because na-hit yung cut loss natin. As you can see, hindi lahat ng trades mo dito panalo. As you can see, kanina pinakita natin, around 30% lang yung hit rate mo dito, no? So next is that, um, tignan natin din yung mga nag-take profit tayo. No? So, zoom out tayo dito kay SecB. And medyo cut loss, cut loss recently. Ito, tignan natin yung successful no? na trade dito kay SecB. So, tignan natin. Puro cut loss pa recently but... Ayun, sige. Ito, I think. No? Cross under. So, pag lumabas cross under, it means that nag-take profit tayo. So, here, as you can see, nag-cross over... Si PSE dito or si uh, SMA natin dito. So, satisfied both your SMA 200, si PSE ay above, and your value traded here below. Now, if this one, no, SMA 15, nag-cross over sa SMA 30, we buy at the closing price. So, we bought here even though malakas yung buy up dyan, no? So, we bought there, no? And then... We set our cut loss at 3.8%. So, 3.8%, ayan, nandito pa sa baba, no? So, if it closed below that level or intraday, pag nahit yan, ibibenta na natin. And then, it rallied successfully. As you can see, ayan, dito tayo nakapagbenta kasi nag-cross under na, no? So, if we bought here and then we sold here, that's around 8% of 
profits. Also, this one, as you can see, we bought here, we sold here. That's also, ayan, 5%. So, medyo maliit dito kay SECB. Pero, no, on the right time or sa right timing, maganda. No? So, let's say ito, tignan natin. No? So, again, this is just one stock out of lots of stocks. No? So, ayan, this one is 11%. Again, kung nakikita nyo kanina sa trade stats natin, no, the average win is just 13%. So, wag kang ma, ano, no, ma-confuse, no? So, ayan, wag kang kumbaga, wag kang ma-confuse na ayun nga na around 15% lang yung profit more, etc. Wag kang may expect din no na mag-aabove diyan significantly kasi diyan lang yung average natin. So maybe um yung max diyan no natin or um around some somewhere around maybe around 4% to uh, I don't know around 21% no. Diyan magre-range no around 60% yung ating um trades. Now here Eto, medyo maganda yung trade dito kay Secpi from this point, no? Tignan natin from this to this one. So that's 65%. Maka-capture mo talaga yung buong trend if malakas, no? Yung stock na yan. So tignan natin din yung ibang stocks. This one is Bloom. As you can see, from this point to this point. Again, tignan muna natin. Kailangan lumabas lang si V here, no? And then blue sa taas and then you wait for crossover. Pag nag crossover, buy at whatever price it is, no, sa closing. So you buy here sa closing and then you sell dito kasi nag-cross under. Kita niyo yan, do? Yellow bumaba, no, dito sa blue. So cross under. And then, ayan, tignan din natin dito. We bought here, bakit satisfied again SMA 200 si PSEI above. And then, value traded for the past 20 days, the average value traded is above 20 million. So, considering the 20 million, napakaliit lang niyan. So, it means that madami talaga tayong natitrade, no? So, kita nyo naman, around 1,500 trades tayo dito. Next, ayan, nag-cut loss dito kay Bloom. Bakit? Because na-hit yung 3.8%. So, of course, ayan, titignan mo yan, no? Yung mga trades dito. Ayan. Medyo sideways yung iba. Ito, pag umakit yung stock, capture na capture din ka agad. So, ito, from this level to that level, around 50%. So, 47% imagine, no? Ito lang yung strategy mo. Pinaulit-ulit mo lang, rinse and repeat, no? You manage to gain 47% on this single trade. Imagine repeating this one on other trades as well, no? RLC, ito, for RLC also, Ayan, makikita nyo, ayan, madami ding trades. Again, kailangan natin. Ito recently, merong trade dito, no? So, SMA, uh, above SMA 200 si PSEI. So, ito, kaya may kulay blue. Next, above dapat 20 uh, million, no? Yung average value traded for the past 20 days. So, ayan, V nakalagay. So, we bought here kasi nag-cross din yung SMA 15, SMA 30. Set cut loss, no? 3.8%. So, ayan, nag-cut tayo dito. So, and that's how you manage your cut loss. Kumbaga. And lastly, here kay Pure Gold, I think um, you get the point naman. No? Paulit-ulit lang din kasi no? kung paano gamitin ito. So, ayan, maghanap tayo ng parang logical trade no? dito sa kay Pure Gold. So, ito, for example, this one, 2017 also. Ito. So, we bought here. Ayan. Buy sa closing. Benta dito kasi nag-cross under. That's 17% already. Kailangan happy ka na. So imagine getting around 5 times, no? Kasi 400% plus ka ng 1, no? 4 plus 1. So it's 5 times, no? Of your original beginning equity. So this one is compounded, kumbaga. So pag nag-profit ka, all throughout sa iyong mga trades, no? You use 25%. By the way, the allocation here is 25%, no? So, 25% lang yung allocation dito per trade. And then, ayun nga, nakikita natin. Ayun, super dami ng mga trades dito. Please do like and subscribe sa ating video. No? Please do watch then our other videos. Thank you everyone. Goodbye.